Hi friends and welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be my first weekly reading vlog for November. It's been a little while since I've done a reading vlog so I'm very excited. My cat is licking a bag so that's what's happening here. <laughs> Um, so I was having so much trouble deciding what to read in November. With the last two months of the year, I really want to knock off like a big chunk of um, my TBR before 2021. Um, and I am participating in the Clear Your Shit-a-thon. Your Clear Your Shit Read-a-thon. Clear Your Shit. <laughs> whatever it's called. Um, but I didn't really want to do a set TBR for November. I kind of just wanted to read some things and then in December make a set TBR for the remaining prompts because the readathon does run for two months. That being said, I had no idea what I wanted to read. So I posted a tweet and I said, someone please help me pick my TBR. And April from Aprilius Maximus responded and said that she would. So I ended up sending um, a bunch of pictures of my TBR to her and Paige from Pages with Paige. I love them both so much. They're amazing. Um, and they picked some books. And April in particular did me a little dirty. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'm very excited for all the books they picked. So I'll just kind of run through everything they picked and then what I am planning on tackling this week in particular. So I'll start with Paige. She ended up picking out Scythe by Neil Schusterman, which I've been meaning to get to forever, so I'm excited about this. This is a YA dystopian. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which I am also so, so excited for. I think this is, I don't know if you can really see this cover, it's pretty shiny. Um, this is one I've never read and I've always wanted to, and I really want to watch the new movie, so. I am super excited to get to this, and I also have an audiobook for this one, so that'll be great. Then she picked Normal People by Sally Rooney, which is also one that I'm looking forward to and I want to watch the adaptation for. Um, I don't know if there's an audiobook for this, but if there is, I'm definitely going to get that because I prefer to listen to like classics, contemporary, um, real world stories as opposed to fantasy as an audiobook, so this is one that I would love to listen to in audio. I'm excited. Uh, then she picked Death Note. This is the, oh it's upside down, but this is the um, complete bind up of the entire manga series. So I am just going to read volume one and call it a day. I hope that's okay Paige. Um, if I get to the others that would be great, but with this huge TBR I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but I absolutely love the anime so I cannot wait to read the manga. It's been a while since I watched the anime, so this is the perfect time. Uh, then she picked We Are Okay, which is a book I hauled very recently that I know little to nothing about, but it is very short, so thank you very much. And I have the audiobook on hold with my library. I know this is a YA contemporary, and I think this is going to be pretty hard hitting. And the last one she picked is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, which I could have predicted because I know she loves this book and she has told me to read it before. So this is one I cannot wait for. I am in a romance mood, so this is perfect. So then on to April's pick. I don't know if I said, but they each picked six books for me. Um, she picked Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and I know this is like her all-time favorite book, so definitely expected this one, and I cannot wait. I have the audiobook for it, and yeah, I've never read this, and I have wanted to for as long as I can remember, so I cannot wait, and I hope I love it as much as April does. Then she picked Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, which is a standalone YA fantasy, oh, it's very shiny. Um, about a magical library, I believe, which sounds amazing. Like, how can you beat that plot? <laughs> I'll be giving you more details about these books as I read them too, but since there's so many and I'm not filming like a separate TBR, I just kind of want to get through them. And then we have A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colehurst, which I cannot wait for. This is a young adult fantasy, I think it's a royal fantasy, and it has a female female romance. I am so, 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 so excited. I hauled this very recently and I've been wanting to read it forever, so this one I can't wait for. Then she picked Homegoing, and this is one that has been on my TBR for a very long time. 
Um, and I believe this is a generational story. Yeah, it says a novel of breathtaking sweep and emotional power that traces 300 years in Ghana. And that just sounds amazing. I've heard this is super, super powerful and beautiful. Um, and I've heard really great things about the writing as well. So I cannot wait to get to this one. Oh, she also picked Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss, which I can't find because when I sent them pictures, I kind of destroyed my bookshelves and now everything's a mess. Actually, let me show you. So this is what my shelves are looking like right now. Um, yeah, they are a huge mess. Oh, there's my cat just right in the middle. How cute. My TBR cart is destroyed. So yeah, I can't find Crown of Midnight. <laughs> so yeah, Crown of Midnight is um, one that she picked as well. This is the only one that I sent to them actually that I had read before. Um, but honestly, the second I finished it, I forgot everything <laughs> about it. Um, I could not give you a plot summary. I don't know what happens. I had to read Throne of Glass three times. I don't know why, but that series just, it does not stick in my brain. It is not memorable to me. However, I own the entire series. I tried to unhaul it and then I changed my mind. So I really want to get through it. I know the later books get better and so many people love it. So I feel like I'm missing out. Um, so yeah, Crown of Midnight. We will give a reread to, but it will basically be like I'm reading it for the first time. <laughs> and the last book that she picked, She Really Did Me Dirty, is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. <laughs> I kind of expected her to pick this one because I know she loves it, and I know Paige read it recently and loved it as well. Um, but she thick. So... So this is about 800 pages. Um, I am excited. I did want to read it before 2021 and honestly when it comes to books this big I put them off until like it's been years and I still haven't read them. So this is the push I need to read this book that I've been dying to forever. This is an, a standalone adult fantasy with a female female romance which is my favorite. Um, and yeah so this will be a treat. <laughs> so those are all the books that they picked for me. Thank you so much to April and Paige for picking these. Um, it's going to be hard. I'm bad at sticking to TBRs, but this is going to force me to, and I am so excited. So priorities for this week. The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. Um, this I started, I'm only like 10 pages in, but this is the first one I'm going to start with because I am very excited, but I kind of just picked at random because I'm excited about everything. <laughs> um, but I'm in the mood for a romance, so this is what I decided to go with. So this is the one that I'm going to be reading physically right away. So the audiobook I have on the go right now is none of these, <laughs> um, but I'm almost finished it. I think I literally have half an hour left and I listen to it on double speed, so I should just finish it right now. Um, but that's I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. Um, I was loving the first three quarters of this book and then the end, I'm not, a, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm not a fan. But yeah, I'm gonna finish that off and then I think the audiobook that I am going to listen to first is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So I will pop this one on as soon as I am finished with I'm Thinking of Ending Things. And also, for the Prior of the Orange Tree, to make it a little easier on myself, I decided to um, split it into sections and then read a little bit every day. So I did the math, and to finish this by the end of November, I'd have to read about 30 pages a day, which is totally doable. Um, and then if some days I read more than 30, some days I read less, I think it'll work its way out, but I'll try to stay at least 30 every day. Um, and maybe I'll finish it on the last day of November, or maybe I'll finish it before, but... That'll make this, this big boy a little bit easier on myself. So yeah, those are the things that I plan on reading. Oh, I also like to have an ebook on the go. This is unrelated, but I'm still kind of in the middle of Untouchable by Talia Hibbert. I'm taking this series pretty slow, but I am absolutely loving it. So I might make some more progress on that this week as well. Um, but for now, I will update you when I have something to update you on. Hey friends, it is um, Friday afternoon and I just have to go into work for a couple hours. So I was just getting ready to do that, but I just wanted to update you on my reading. So I finished a book, 
um, and then I finished I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. Um, I only had 15 minutes left of this audiobook and it took me like four days to finally finish it. Um, this is about, oh it's a weird book, this is about a woman who's thinking of breaking up with her boyfriend, um, but she's like having this debate as they're driving to his parents house to meet his parents for the first time. Um, yeah, it was really weird. The first half of the book I had very high hopes for it. It was very creepy, very atmospheric. I was very intrigued to know what was happening. There was a lot of weird stuff going on. Then the second half of the book like completely lost me. Um, I like, I appreciate what he was trying to do with the book. However, it, it didn't hit the mark for me. It was not for me. Not my type of thing. I ended up giving it two stars, I believe. Yeah, I really didn't like it. Um, it has a lot of negative reviews, actually. Um, a lot of really bad reviews from people I trust, so should have expected it. But when I first started listening to it, I was like, why do so many people hate this? This sounds great. But no, it, it was not good. That was the audiobook I was listening to. And then just this morning, I started the audiobook for Little Women. Oh, my book's over there. My bad. Um which I've never read, I've never seen a movie, I don't really know the story, I do a little bit, um, and I'm really, really liking it. It's really good so far, I'm liking all the sisters, I am so excited to have read this and then I can watch the movie, I like the narrator, yeah, I'm having a great time with that so far, I'm not very far into it, probably like 10%, but yeah, it is a good time so far, and... As far as my physical reading, so I've been reading The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Um, this is such a bad angle. <laughs> so I've been reading The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Um, I am a hundred pages in now and I am loving it. Oh my goodness. This is so, so good. So it is about two people who share a, an apartment. Um, but they also share a bed and they've never met like um, the guy Leon works nights overnight he he's a hospice nurse um, and the girl works days so they never cross paths she sleeps in it at night he sleeps in it in the day works out well but they communicate with post-it notes and it's so cute so far um, so I'm really really enjoying this I can't put it down um, and it's pretty quick to read to get through so I anticipate finishing this this weekend so that's great um, and then oh I can't hold this up with one hand Priory of the Orange Tree I have started so I divided this up into sections to sorry this angle so I did the math to divide this into sections to finish it by the end of November and I have to read about 30 pages a day so what I'm doing is just reading to the like end of the chapter that's like soonest after 30 pages if that makes sense so I'm on page 65 and I haven't read my section yet for today but I will do okay sorry my card was full I really need to get better at emptying that so yeah as I was saying prior to the orange tree I'm on page 65 and I'm really enjoying it so far um there are a lot of characters to get to know kind of right off the bat so for the first little bit, I kind of had to reread some parts just because I was getting used to everyone, and I find that is kind of the struggle sometimes with high fantasy. Um, it's hard to kind of get to know everyone and everyone's relations. There is a helpful guide at the back of the book, which is great, um, and there's also, I think, like four different narrators, so that's a little bit confusing too, but I don't think it'll be confusing for much longer. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on so far. But I'm really, really liking it. There are talking dragons. It's great. It is really good. So, yeah, I will read my section later on tonight when I get back from work. And continue on with the flat share. And then on my way to work and probably at work, I will be listening to Little Women. I just got some new wireless headphones from Amazon. I've been using like these like cheap ones, I think the brand is like i12 that are like 20 bucks um, and I use them so often that I decided to invest in ones that were a little bit more expensive. These still weren't too bad. Um, 
And these are the brand Ball Tune. I don't know if you can see that. B-O-L-T-U-N-E. And this is what they look like. A nice, like, mm, case. Yeah, so I haven't tried these out yet, but I will today, and I will let you know my thoughts. Hi, friends. I just got out of the shower, so don't mind my wet hair. Um, but it is Friday evening now, and I have some things to update you. I'm very proud of myself because today I finished The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Um, I read like 200, 250 pages of this today. I don't know what happened, but I got so absorbed in this book and I basically didn't do anything else all afternoon. Um, oh my gosh, but this was a five-star read. This was so cute, like everything that I want in a romance. I loved Tiffy, I loved Leon, and I loved Tiffy's friends and Leon's brother. Oh my gosh, every character in this I loved. I thought it was so well done and their relationship was so cute. And I loved like their kind of niche jobs that they both had and the insight that we got into their jobs and it was just so good. Oh, Paige picked this one but I think April really likes it too. 10 out of 10 pick. Great way to start off this challenge. I loved that so much. That's officially my first full book done in November. I am still picking away, oh, I can't pick it up, at A Priory of the, the Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I um, think I'm about 90 pages in. I skipped my section yesterday, um, but I read 30 pages today, and I'm gonna read another 30 before I go to bed to catch up. But I'm really, really liking this so far. Um, there's a lot going on, there's a lot of characters, but I'm getting more familiar with the world and with everyone and the dynamics. And I'm very curious about how things are gonna go. I mean, I have a lot left, so like over 700 pages. So there is a lot still to happen in this book and I'm very excited. Um, I'm still listening to the audiobook of Little Women. I'm not loving it so far, um, but that might be my fault. I think I need to like rewind and kind of start. I think I just wasn't listening well enough to the audiobook, so I might need to give it a little bit of a rewind. But yeah, hopefully I start liking that a little bit more. If I find the audiobook too difficult, I will just pick it up physically. And I think the next read that I am going to pick up, as well as Priory, is Normal People by Sally Rooney. This, again, was Paige's pick. I didn't do that on purpose, but um, yeah. I don't know too much about this. I know it's um, small town, two characters. I know there's a show. Um, I've heard this writing style is really like claustrophobic, which I don't tend to love in books. Um, I find that a lot with like Stephen King's books. And the best example in my head right now is Bunny by Mona Awad was very claustrophobic and I don't think I love that. But I am intrigued. I hope this isn't too slow. I know this is very character driven, which I like, so hopefully this will be a quick read. And yeah, that's all I have to really update you on. I am in such a reading mood today. I'm going to read my other 30 page section of Priory and then pick up normal people and get a start on this. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi friends, it is Sunday evening now and you are getting this update on my phone because my camera battery is charging, so I'm very sorry about the quality. Um, however, it's time to wrap up the vlog. I am very proud of my reading this week. Um, and yeah, let's go over everything that I completed. Um, so the first thing I completed was I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. I only really completed the last like 15 minutes of this, so I don't know if that counts. But I'm including it here. Um, this was about a woman who is thinking about breaking up with her boyfriend, but she's kind of having this internal struggle when um, she's in the car driving with her boyfriend to meet his parents for the first time. So it's very interesting to like um, hear about her internal turmoil. But this book just unfortunately wasn't for me. I really liked the first half, but it didn't go in the direction that I hoped it would. And I just, I don't think I was 
fully sold with the ending. <laughs> this actually has a lot of negative reviews, and I'm not fully surprised because I don't think this is for everyone. It definitely was not for me. Um, that synopsis sounded very interesting to me, but no. I do want to watch the movie, though, because I do think it would come across, um, maybe a little bit better in film. I would like to see what they did with it. But yeah, that is the first thing that I have completed. The next thing I completed is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, which I gave five out of five stars. I absolutely loved this. This is an adult romance about two people who, um have a flat share agreement to share a one bedroom apartment where they share the bed because um, Leon, the male, works um, evenings. So he would be sleeping in it during the day and then Tiffy works during the day so she would be sleeping in it in the evenings and then Leon's away every weekend so it just ended up working out perfectly. Um, and they never meet, but they have like a cute little banter and communication through post-it mo notes until they do meet. And it was just overall super adorable, everything that I could have ever asked for in a romance book. And I absolutely loved it. And then I am 107 pages into The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I am a little bit behind on my sections. I, need, I didn't read my section today. Um, and I need to get to page 150 today to be caught up, which I will. Um, it's only like 7 p.m., so I'm going to do that right after this. This I am loving, and I think this might be like a new favorite. I know it's a little early to say 100 pages into an 800-page book, but it's so good. I can't wait to see what happens. Like, there's so much going on already, and like, obviously so much more to come. And I'm loving the characters, and yeah, this is great. I feel like I'm definitely going to be reading more than my designated sections per day so I feel like I'm going to finish this way before the end of November which is totally fine by me and I'm very excited. And aside from that I've also been listening to Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Oh my book's actually right here. I can hold it up. This one you can see it in my vlog. I was just editing it and my first clip I was like oh I'm loving this audiobook. It's so great. Love the narrator. And then I think I was just listening to it at a time when I was like too distracted to be listening to an audiobook. So then I kind of got out of it and I was like, oh, I'm not loving this anymore. Um, but I did rewind and start closer to the beginning again. And I am liking it. It's, I don't know if it's the narration or the book or what, but I'm not like super invested in the audiobook. And I think that's why I keep kind of zoning out. So I might have to pick up this physically. Um, I don't normally have too much trouble with classics, like as an audiobook, but this one, I don't know. But I am liking it. I'm liking all of the sisters. I love the characters. I especially love Jo. I think she's so fun and so spunky. <laughs> um, I can't wait to read this and watch the movie. Oh, I was about to say that was everything, but it's not. I also started Normal People by Sally Rooney. I'm only 25 pages into this. I just started it today, but I am actually liking this a lot more. I was a little apprehensive because I was worried that I wasn't going to like this um, too much just because I've heard some not great things about the writing style, um, but I'm really liking the writing style and I'm liking the characters. Well, <laughs> I'm liking them as characters. I'm not liking them as people. The guy in this, what's his name, O'Connell, is kind of an asshole. <laughs> um, however, I do like him as a character in this book, and I can't wait to see how this is going to go. I also really like this cover. I feel like I haven't appreciated it enough, but it's beautiful. So, I'm really excited to keep reading with this. It's a pretty fast read. So, yeah. That is everything that I read this week. I would normally do what I hauled this week, but I haven't hauled anything, which I'm very excited about. However, I did place a couple online orders, and I'm expecting a few things in the mail, so next week won't be the same. My cat is glaring at me. Hi, girlfriend. Say goodbye, BB. Goodbye, and we will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.